Howdy folks, I'm Hank Sheffer, and welcome to another True Life Story, right here with Larry Hedrick on Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. You know, there are so many stories about the Superstition Mountains out there, and one of the more enduring stories is the story of the Piper Jones feud at Weaver's Needle. Clay Wurst has touched upon it, uh, others have touched upon it, but just recently, Jack Sanfelice uh, come out with a story called The Shootout at Weaver's Needle that was all about the Jones-Piper uh, feud. Uh, back in the mid-70s, mid when uh, I became a sidekick with uh, Tom Collinborn, was taking uh, many trips into superstitions, one of the first ones we did was at Weaver's Needle. And he took me to where he knew that Mrs. Jones's camp was. And I found these two items in her camp, this little skillet with a bullet hole in it, and this Prince Albert can, which was typical of people when they made their claims, put their claim papers inside a Prince Albert can. And this is one of the claim papers, but of course it can't be opened or, or dealt with because it just would be ruined. And uh, these two items were specifically found in Mrs. Jones' campsite. These other items, when we had the uh, Superstition Mountain Museum was cleaning up the, the, the land, there was a lot of trash on the land at the museum. And um, I don't know, I hauled off about 25 tires and stuff like that. But um, in the late 1800s, when Goldfield was established, there were prospect holes all over the museum grounds. And uh, under some of the trees out there, the Palo Verde trees, we found some campsites. And these are things that came out of those campsites. I'm assuming that these were sardine cans. And this is a carnation milk can. And notice the little dot right there in the middle and right in here. These were all sealed in the 1800s with lead. And this is how this lead bled into the food that was inside and people actually got lead poisoning from eating from these type of cans. This was a, a snuff box, a tobacco box that they used at that time. And this we found was a 4560 cartridge that um, typically came from a converted Sharps carbine. The first Sharps carbine used a paper cartridge with a bullet in it and you put it in and and detonated it with a cap, and they converted those to brass shells. The Army used these. They were using them at the time of the Skull Cave, and it was way, well into the late 70s before they were equipped with 4570s. So this is a 4560 like was found at Apache Leap. Nevertheless, all over the superstitions were things that were discarded. We, we actually run across up on top of Peter's Mesa, a complete camp with tents and everything. Obviously, it'd been there for a long time because the canvas was rotted and things like that, but there was a tripod stand with a crock pot on it. It still had beans in the bottom of it, molded, you know, for, for, for months that the whole thing had been abandoned. Obviously, things like that have been packed out by the Forest Service and gotten rid of and, and what have you, but there's just all kinds of evidence of people in the superstitions from the 1800s on. Thank you for watching this episode of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains.